Uh, the last little bit of the 115 ride for the riders doing on Friday, July 11th. So we're about 100 kilometers in. We actually haven't ridden 100 kilometers just yet. But we're about to enter the four major hills of McDougal Road. And with me is a good friend, Zach. Zach, any advice for tackling these hills? Well, I think there is a lot of advice. There's a uh, make sure you're going fast before you get to the hill. So the, sort of the way I think about it is, uh, in your big chain ring, go as fast as you can to the base of the hill and take it as far up the hill as you can. But it's, it's a fine line because you want to make sure that when you get as far up the hill as you can in that big chain ring, you still want to keep a very fast cadence. So you're going to drop down to the second chain ring and then sort of feather your way down to the um, easiest gear. And then once you get to the easiest gear, it's pretty much a grind till the top. So I sort of think of it as taking a big chunk out of the bottom of the hill, making it easier, try to keep it easy, and then it just gets hard. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have any advice for the hard part. You just gotta get through that. Well, that sounds very uh, appealing. Maybe we should really just go play golf. I don't know if you can see that golf course behind us. Uh, that might be a better alternative. So here we go. Let's have fun, Zach. Yeah, I'm changing my advice. Uh, get your smallest chain ring. Smallest, easiest gear. Just do the best you can again. Okay, that's number one of four. Here we go.
you survive. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to change my advice again. Um, I think this is just uh, pretty much what I recommend you do. Uh, just the voice. Okay, thanks, guys. Nuestra porción.